Katy, Texas. It's the first Saturday of the month, so it's time for Arts Alive here in Eureka, California. Let's go check it out. I'm going to say a few words about your uh, why on earth your very colorful Chevy is, is hanging out in the middle of the road. Well, so I launched Lost Coast LEDs. We're located at 102 Second Street, right across from the Men's Rescue Mission. Uh, launched about two weeks ago. And this car, which is my personal car, and the goal here is to have something that draws people's attention. Oh, wow, what is that? I want to go check that out. And while you're here, well, I might as well stop in browse through Old Town Eureka. Okay. So yeah. it works. And as you've seen, it's, it's really hard to walk by this thing and not stop to check it out. Like it's, I drive, you know, down the city at nighttime and people are screaming at me, dude, I love your car, it's dope. <laughs> so it gets a lot of attention. For sure, dope. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are? We are at the American Indian Art and Gift Shop, located at a corner of 3rd and F Street in Old Town. It is part of the NCIDC, it's Northern California Indian Development Council. What can you find in here? Um, you can find a wide variety of uh, American Indian or Native American jewelry, hats, beanies, just a wide variety of culture, a lot of necklaces, earrings, just a lot of things that, that Native people make. Do you have a favorite item in the store right now? <laughs> I have a few. Yeah. Yeah, I like that drum. There's a drum right over there. It's made by Gusta Bowie, and, and it's a gambling drum. Hey, do you like what you see on Old Town Art Crawl and the other great local content on Keat TV's YouTube channel? Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell. It really helps the channel out. Thanks. So here at Maker's Apron, they have a special display window. This is the Old Town Victorian. All these artists were invited to create their own room and then built it together into one big Victorian house representing life in Eureka, California. So we're here at Zumbido Gifts and I just want to sneak in really quickly to check out some baskets they have from the Bolgatonga region of Ghana. These little ones are hand-woven Volga baskets from the Upper East region of Northern Ghana. It says they uh, weave these useful baskets from the limitless supply of elephant grass. And I just love all the beautiful colors. It says you can get them a little wet, kind of reshape them into what you want. So this is the Off the Wall Sale. It's a fundraiser for the Humboldt Arts Council and the Morris Graves Museum of Art. There's an art broker named Nat Sulis, and this is his collection. He donated it to the museum. They've been sitting on it for a few years till just the right moment, and now they are in dire need of roof repairs. So they brought out this collection, which is supposed to represent life in California, all over California. And they're letting a few of these wonderful pieces go to help raise money for a new roof. We're here at the Morris Graves Museum of Art with Genevieve from the Humboldt Arts Council. Can you tell us about this show that's going on right now? Um, yeah, so today and through the rest of this month, we're having our annual Humboldt Arts Council member show. This happens every year. It's to celebrate the artists that help sustain and add funds to our museum and keeping the lights on and everything going. Do you have a favorite in the show right now? Oh gosh. It's okay. You can There's say you so can. so many <laughs> that I love. Darla Myers, she did a encaustic piece, which is really beautiful. <laughs> oh, encaustic, that's where you paint with warm wax. Yeah. I like the, the colors and the layers and the contrasts and the translucency of the wax medium is just really beautiful and it has these depths of colors that you just don't get with other mediums. Stock opened his gallery a few months ago and I haven't had a chance to check it out. Let's go see. 
Oh my gosh, I love the new space dock. It's beautiful. It really is. I'm quite uh, impressed with it myself, <laughs> even if I do say so myself. I love the collection. Tell like your, you know, your friends in here. I see, I see George Bouquet's cast glass. I see an assemblage by Dwayne Flatno. You have a series in here. Is this a series from a road trip? You said. Yeah, in 2016, we went on the road for a year, and I did 250 paintings in 11 months. We sold. I probably sold half of them over the years and they've been just sitting in my studio and that journey reminded me of this journey which is taking on a gallery and being stationary and all of the things going on right in old town here is the same kind of a journey only it's stationary and i wanted to talk about that by showing work from that previous journey and who else do you have showing in here with you my wife rachel mm -hmm. has uh, some beautiful portraiture and she had one landscape and a cat and sold the landscape the other day, so. I know if I see a cat painting, there's a good chance it's one of Rachel's. It's a pretty good chance, yeah. Bit of a mellow one tonight, but I had fun. I hope you did too. Thanks for joining us on Old Town Art Crawl. <laughs> oh gosh, a favorite piece. Do you have a favorite piece that's in the show right now? Yeah, the one I just sold. Uh -huh.